All right, here we go with uh, Led Zeppelin's Over the Hills and Far Away. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you each part, part at a time. I'll play part of it and then I'll show you the notes, tell you what the notes are. Uh, the strings are numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the bass string. String one is the most treble string. Frets, if I say open position, it's zero fret, zero is open. So string one, fret two. String two, fret three. String six, fret five. String four, fret one. Okay, here we go with the song. Start by picking string three, open. Hammer on to fret two, pull off to open, like this. Then go to fret string four, fret four. and pull off to open, or you could pick it to open. Let's play that whole section together. Okay, then you go to string three, fret zero. Then you pick a G chord with the added uh, finger of G like this with um, frets three and three of strings one and two in it. Strum it once, then strum it two times, accentuating and strumming just strings one, two, and three. And back to strings six, five, four. So it's like this. Let's play this section now. Okay. Next section. Same type of beginning, hammer on, zero fret, string three, all string three, zero fret, second fret, pull off to zero fret. String four, fret four. Then back to string three, fret zero. String three, frets four, pull off to two, pull off to zero. String four, fret zero. So it's like this. Whoops, that's wrong. So it's da 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 Then you strum a D chord. Strum it one time, hold, then strum it three times, like this. Then you go back to the riff, zero fret, second fret, zero fret, pull off, string four, fret four, back to string three, fret zero, like this. G chord. And back to the riff again, zero, second, zero. String four, fret four. String three, fret zero. String three, frets four. Pull off to two, pull off to zero. String four, fret zero. D chord, three times. Then a riff, bass riff, it's like this. The notes are string five, fret zero, hammer on to two, fret two, I mean. String four, fret two, string five, fret two, string four, fret zero, string 
four fret two and back to zero. So I'll play a section again. From that you go to a G chord and then you play this. Same thing, fret zero, string three, zero, two, zero, string four, fret four, back to string three, fret zero. So it's back to a D chord. That's again the same as the beginning, zero, two, zero. String four, four to zero, fourth fret to zero. Now is a new section. So you start with a uh, C chord with the high G. Pick the C note fret 3, string 5, and strum the G chord with, excuse me, it's a G chord with a C bass. Then you go to a G chord with a B bass. You pick the root note first, then you strum the chord. The root note is the bass note, the lowest bass note in the chord. to first fret, fifth string. So it's a G chord with a B flat bass or root note. Pick the root note. And now you change actually. So it's not B flat with the G. It's a B flat root note with a, oh, what is that? Uh, B flat six. The notes are 5th string, 1st fret, 4th string, 3rd fret, 3rd string, 0 fret, 2nd string, 3rd fret, and that's it. Pick it a whole bunch of times. Then you pick it and slide 2 frets up. Keep picking, like so. It's six slide. Again. Everything's moved up two frets on a slide, holding the strum. Then you go back to section one, the beginning. changes subtly the second time. It's basically the same thing. So you could start with two notes on the G, which is third fret sixth string. So from that You go through the same thing again, exactly the same progression. But here, instead of doing the, the, B, the G with the C to the B to the B flat 6 chord, now instead of doing that, you go to the C note and you pluck the G partial chord, treble strings, one, two, and three together. So it's C note, or third fret, fifth string, and pluck strings one, two, and three. So it's 
second fret, second fret, fifth string, to sixth string, third fret, two times. Then you go hammer on, zero fret, fifth string, to second fret, fifth string. second fret pull off then you go to the fourth string second fret pick it once and pull off to zero then you strum a D chord four times approximately then you From the D chord, you go to a You add the pinky, third fret, third, first string, first string, third fret. So it's like this. Okay, so it's two strums of the D. Third strum of the D, and then fourth strum as you add the pinky to the D chord. Repeat that riff several times, and then you slide up. So you slide up from approximately fret five or six, slide into the chord. It's a D-shaped chord, same shape as you had on the D chord. Slide it up to the ninth fret. So you're fretting strings one and three, fret nine, string two, fret ten. Strum those three strings together and slide into it. Then you go back two frets to fret seven and eight same shape on your fingers and after you strum those you mute like a some my right hand palm mutes and then you repeat get add some pick strums by lift gently resting your pick fret hand on there to mute the strings and slide back into it That's a G chord, D chord, then a D chord again, an A chord. Uh, that's when the distortion kicks in, and he's on electric guitar also. So it's. And then it goes to a G chord. I'll play the section. fourth string, fourth fret. So it's... And then you pull off. So as you, you pick it once with the fourth fret, fourth string added to the A chord, and pull off fourth string, keeping the A chord there. beginning of this riff. G, D, D, A. I hope you've enjoyed getting of Over the Hills and Far Away. Thanks for watching and we'll see you maybe in a new song next time. Thanks. Bye.